The rise of small unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones as they're more commonly known, has opened new doors for innovation, but also new threats. As drone technology becomes more accessible, bad actors are using them for cyber attacks and other nefarious activities targeting critical infrastructure. Joining me now is Terry Van Haren, the Vice President Strategy of Drone Shield, to discuss how we can monitor and counteract these growing threats. Good to see you, Terry. Small drones are cheap and easy to buy, simple to operate. How does this contribute to the risks we're seeing? Yeah, good day, Mike. Well, yes, small drones are, uh, are everywhere. They're very easy to buy commercially, um, online sales and, and things like that. And then, I mean, they're there for hobby reasons and a whole bunch yeah. of good use, but they're so simple to modify and use for other purposes, nefarious purposes. So we're really seeing them uh, an uptick of being used for nefarious reasons, um, yeah, surveillance uh, in, in a sense, but also even sophisticated things such as cyber attacks. That's an interesting prospect there. Now, we've seen an inc increase in the use of drones for these malicious activities. What are some of the most concerning trends when it comes to a drone impacting cybersecurity? Well, there's a few articles about uh, various things that occurred in the United States and in Europe where people are using drones uh, simply because they're a way of getting a, a Wi-Fi modem or a router close to a, mm. a data center or something that you're trying to hack into and extending, you know, a, um, a hacker's presence physically from wherever they are, which may be off-site somewhere, to the site and then playing into that system by by the traditional hacking methods, uh, by actually having a Wi-Fi presence in there, they can get into those systems. That is some spooky stuff. So it's literally an aerial bug, if you will. Uh, how vulnerable are critical infrastructure sites and why do many lack the monitoring or defense systems that you and your team have got there? Well, look, this is a, a real problem because there's so much critical infrastructure that you know our way of life depends on all around the country, uh, all countries, in fact. Um, they're all well protected from physical intrusion, typically with fences and alarms mm -hmm. and other things. But a drone just bypasses all of that and takes that presence, you know, the um, the, the criminal, the uh, the agent, whatever, uh, beyond the wire, be into the systems and gives them access potentially. Now, it might be for surveillance reasons. Uh, it might be for uh, extending presence with a cyber type attack. Or, of course, the worst case scenario would be some sort of, sort of physical attack against mm. critical mm. infrastructure. And of course, we've seen plenty of examples coming out of uh, Ukraine and Russia at the moment. But how is Drone Shield helping to detect, monitor, and disrupt unauthorized drone activity? Yeah, Drone Shield's um, a pioneer and world leader in this technology. In fact, we started uh, 11 years ago when we thought that drone use would be a problem. And we've developed a, a suite of technologies, including the uh, item you have there on the screen. That's a, a drone gun tactical, very popular with uh, security forces around the world. And that will actually disrupt the, the Wi-Fi signals, uh, the control signals, and also the video signals from a drone and actually make them go back to where they come from. So the other part of it is detection, like the item I have behind me there, which is a drone sentry detector. Basically, it's detecting the, a drone in the vicinity of something critical. Um, it detects the, the signal of the drone and, and uh, works out you know, where it is, what it's doing, and gives the operator that situation awareness you need to do something about it if, it's, if, if it is flying where it shouldn't be or it's doing something it shouldn't do. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible technology. The, 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 the letters EMP come to mind, sort of, uh, you know, pulsing out these things you see in sci-fi. Is this the kind of technology that's at work here at play? It really is a suite of technologies in a drone, really. Um, you know, we say a drone is a combination of, you know, new battery technologies, new motors for um, small flying vehicles, software-defined capabilities, and then payloads. So you put all those things together and now you've got something which is typically cheap and you can, well, basically use your mind and uh, extend yourself and do something nefarious. Um, the problem is they're everywhere. I mean, there's millions and millions of drones being produced yeah. and sold around the world everywhere. I mean, so many people have drones themselves. I've got one. And of course, you've got one. I've got yeah. one as well. You know, like, um, they're, they're great. You know, like you, you want to get a bit of, uh, see what's going on around you. You follow some action, so to speak. Yeah, easy to use, easy to operate. Um, but of course, that can be turned around and used against critical infrastructure and cause used for disruptive purposes. 
Terry, if people want to find out a little bit more about this, perhaps engage with you and the team, where's the best place to go and what sort of people are you expecting to knock on the door? What sort of clients you work with? So uh, very simple to go to our droneshield.com website to see exactly what we do. And then there's a info at droneshield.com to uh, ask us for more information or to, to talk about events. We typically get a response from different parts of the world depending on activities. Mm. Um, there was a bunch of drones flying around New Jersey not so long ago and, and people didn't know where they were coming from. So pretty much, you know, lots of police forces, uh, security people, um, even private citizens were making approaches to us in that area, just trying to see if they could have some way of monitoring for drone activity and some way of responding for drone activity. So we, we get approaches from um, really all the security apparatus and even concerned citizens around the world uh, looking for uh, these sort of opportunities. And then, of course, the militaries as well, where we have some um, unique militarized products that are... Um, now getting to you know U.S. Army um, special forces, um, army, and, and of course in Ukraine as well. We actually have a bunch of our equipment there that's being used by Ukrainian forces to save their lives and their livelihoods. You, along with the Bushmaster vehicles as well, it's incredible to see. And Terry, I want to thank you for having a chat to us today on Ticker. If people want to find out more, there's a website we can go and have a look at. Com. Perfect. Thanks again for I'm your time. Videos and there. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Hey, thanks for your time. Hopefully we get to speak again down the track as this technology only continues to evolve. Thank you.